Howdy folks, TJ here. What if I told you there's a new program that's written for Amiga OS 4, also Amiga OS 3.2, Morph OS, Eros, Windows, a Linux ARM-based distribution, uh, not one for Mac OS native, but there's a Hollywood applet that is running on a Mac, which is what I'm going to show you. This program called Wormhole allows easy file transfer from an Amiga, Amiga 1 X5000, over to one of my Macs, like the one that you're seeing over here, a, a Mac Pro 2019. Or say I've got a MacBook Pro 2014 in another room on the same network, wireless, but it's talking to the same router. I could transfer files from point A to point B, which is a nice little feature, something we in modern world is pretty commonplace, but uh, on Amiga, it's a little bit different. There has been a program I found out yesterday, one called Simple Transfer, which is similar to this, but it is only for Windows and Android, and of course, Amiga OS 4. This one is more compatible with different operating systems out there, which may be of interest to you, because for me, I couldn't use uh, simple transfer because I don't use Windows. <laughs> I use Mac or Linux, and my Linux is not ARM-based. So when this was introduced a, a few days back on the Amigans uh, forum, there's a thread. I'll put the link down below to the thread. I had to try it, uh, and at first when I saw that it wasn't compatible with Mac, I was a little sad. But I posted in the thread saying, oh yeah, well, I don't run Windows and uh, but I run Mac, so if you ever have a version for Mac, that would be cool. And then he chimed in and said, well, there's a applet of Hollywood that should work. So I tried it. It didn't. It gave us an error message. I reported and made a little video of what error I was getting. And really quickly, he said, oh, I've updated the Hollywood applet. Try again. I tried again. And by golly, it worked. Now, my experience since yesterday getting this to work is not perfect. Uh, I'm going to guess this application is kind of, at least in the world of the Mac OS side, uh, the applet through Hollywood uh, is in beta. I don't know if that's official, done, or he's always tweaking it, but it's been a little hiccupy, meaning that if I'm transferring simple files like a PDF or a JPEG or a Word document, something that's basic, it works fine. But I tried to transfer a 1.6 gigabyte video this morning, there is no file transfer status bar on this that says, I'm working, I'm doing my thing. So after five, 10 minutes, I sat there and I, I just rebooted and uh, it, the file wasn't there. So it may just have been a timeout thing. It may have just been a size thing too big. It may have been that it was still working, but it's just really slow. I don't know. I'll try again. But today I just wanted to show you simple stuff. We're, we're, we're wanting to transfer a PDF or a JPEG, or whatever. Uh, that's a little quicker uh, by just dragging and dropping in a program called Wormhole. So I'm gonna take the camera off the tripod and try to move between these two computers so you get a gist of how this works. But in my dock, let me go ahead and take this off. Ugh. And then we'll kind of point at the screen here. So this is Amiga OS 4. And over in the dock, I have placed, let me focus in, a little icon over there that says Wormhole. And then in the middle, I've already launched Wormhole. That's what it looks like. So the name on the top is the name of your computer that you're on. This is the Amiga 1X5000. So it's the name of the network, and that's what I had named the network. It was the stock name. Then below, it's the name TJ, and that's my Mac. Pro 2019, which is right there. So I want to transfer a file. It's as simple as dragging and dropping on the wormhole. So let me go ahead and focus in. We're going to go ahead and move the cursor over here. Let's copy this Claude Popple's instructions PDF from here. Drop it on here. When I do that, over here should appear. And it takes a little while sometimes. Let me close this. See how long it takes to pop up. Uh, I rebooted, so this is on a fresh boot. And it's taking a little while. It, 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 there we go. So what was that? 15 seconds. So it wasn't speedy quick, 
But it did bring up a dialog box. Let me focus in. And it's basically asking me where I want to save this file. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, save as, we're going to save it on the desktop. And I want to make sure I don't have that file on the desktop. I don't. Focus in. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and click save. And I click save. And what appears over here, Cloud Popples, I'm going to double click on it. Let me focus in. Double click. And there is the PDF that I've transferred from my Amiga 1X5000 over to my Mac. Now let's try going the other direction. I'm going to go ahead and quit out of Claude Popples. And let's open up some. What do I want to transfer over? I want to copy something. Uh, uh, what do I got? Uh, Claude Popples collage. Okay, let's copy the Matt Peel's Claude Popples over. So I'm going to click drag and drop and then go over onto my Amiga and I'm going to click volumes I want to save it someplace I'm going to save it to stuff let me focus in on the screen stuff and I'm going to click OK now we need to give it a little bit again it's not super speedy at least my experience so far and not always does it just pop up, and I've got a little sunspot there. <laughs> I've got a light behind me, so uh, <clears throat> I may need to refresh the... Oh, there we go. Matt Peels. Now, I'm going to open this. One time when I did that, the, the file did not open properly over here. I don't know if it was a Amiga issue or what, but the whole file, only part of it was showing. It was very strange. So let me go ahead and open up Matt Peels and see what happens. And it opened up fully. There we go. And it's got the PDF. By the way, Claude Popples is a video, uh, video mascot for my game Invasion of the Cloud People that I made for the Specky Next. And I created a little kit that people put put together their own cloud popples. So anyway, so it worked. Let me go ahead and put this back up on the tripod and we'll chat a little bit more and then we'll wrap up this video. Focus down. Okay. So what did you just learn? You just learned that there's now a local network way to easily transfer files from an Amiga 1 X5000 or an Amiga 1 uh, X1000 or an Amiga 1 A1222, I would guess this would work on. Uh, AROS, Morph OS, Windows, a Linux-based ARM distribution. It didn't say specifically what one, but there's a lot of different platforms that even said Amiga OS 3.2. So I'm guessing if you've got Amiga OS 3.2 on your network, anything that's on your local network is what you can do. Now, did I show you, I think I already, uh, maybe, I, did I show you what the, the wormhole looked like? I think I did. I, I forgot. Let me go ahead and close it. And let me grab this off here again and just show you. So, again, you've got a little wormhole on each computer. The top is the name of the computer that you're on, and the bottom is the name uh, that you're going to be communicating with. Let me go ahead and put this back up on here, and we'll wrap up the video. So, this makes a easy way to transfer files, which is cool. It's a real world need. Now, I know there's a program called Simple Transfer. Uh, friend Polly mentioned it uh, when I was sh posting in IRC about this program. And so, yeah, it's been out for a while, and I think it's from like 2020. The thing is, with that one, it is only for Windows and Android. I don't have Android, I don't have Windows. I'm Mac OS 10. Uh, I hope that he comes out with a version native for Mac OS X. Maybe that would handle some of the little hiccups. Again, the hiccups that I've run into so far is larger files. There's no status bar that's saying, I'm doing something. So you kind of get lost in the mix. Uh, I would like to see a status bar of some kind or a blinky, blinky light in here saying, blink green, yellow green, yellow green, yellow green, something that lets you know communication and transfer is happening at a minimum or a status bar that pops up showing you the progress of it. But this is a really cool little program. I'll put the link down below to the um, 
gentleman, I think it is a gentleman, uh, Lazy, <laughs> that's the name of the, the, the in, in the fa uh, forum, he goes by Lazy, so we'll call him Lazy. <laughs> uh, well, uh, to his page that you can download this, you can also make a little donation. Since this is working, I'm going to make a little donation today because I think this is a worthwhile program. It's going to help me just communicate between my Macs in the house and my Amiga One. I want to use this more. So the more that I can do things back and forth without getting a USB stick and moving from point A to point B, old sneaker net, if I could do a little mini networking like this, this is really cool. So thanks for watching the video. Hopefully you have enjoyed it. And remember, if you're going into a wormhole, you may not come out complete with extra body parts or less body parts, or maybe there'll be some friends tagging along in the wormhole cruise. So you better beware. Thanks for watching. Bye.